A lot of people say Israel is America's friend. And I want to challenge that. Now, as an American citizen, I don't think Israel is a good friend. Can you call a country a friend if they have a spy, Jonathan Pollard, who spied on America? He was an American. He was not Israeli. He took a life sentence in 1987. And just to spy to the United States in 1995, Israel gave him the Israeli citizenship while he was in jail. That's a spite. And then he was released 2020 on a private jet sponsored by an American billionaire, Sheldon Adelson. And he was greeted at the airport by Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay, how about the Herzog affair, 1950-1954? where Chaim Herzog was an attaché in Israeli embassy and he was recruiting spies with American soul and he was tipped off that the FBI is coming to him. He escaped and how he was rewarded? Two times Israeli president in 1993 and he's the father of the current president today. We're dealing with ISIS, Al-Qaeda and Hamas. This is what we're dealing with. The Apollo affair. Rafi Itan, an Israeli spy, stole 206 enriched uranium from Newman. How can you call a country that committed terrorist attack, killing an American citizen in American soil, and then they fled to Israel, the JDL 1985, Alex Oda, he was Christian, Palestinian American, and he was assassinated by three members of the JDL, and they escaped to Israel, and America had not get them back because Israel does not want to deliver. How can you call a someone who committed an attempted assassination on an American diplomat, John Gunther Dean, our ambassador in Lebanon, and he wrote it in his memoir, American did not investigate it. What is the most lethal attack on American naval vessel in history in the Middle East? USS Cole. How many people died? I don't remember, but a lot. I went and covered 17. How many people injured? 37, but that's not the most lethal. The most lethal attack on American naval vessel was USS Liberty, 9th of June, 1967. They were attacked by the Israeli army, and they killed 34 American soldiers, injured 171, and they paid $6 million in compensation. This is how worth the American lives it is to them. Can we call this a friend? Yes.